Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for June 7th through the 13th. Okay. Um, so guys, I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. We're living in crazy times, so I hope everyone is doing well. Um, all right, my loves, I'd like to give a special shout out to Siriana Taro. Um, the link uh, for her channel should be in the description box below. She's an amazing reader, a very good friend of mine. So guys, go ahead and give her a warm welcome, please. Uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? So let's go ahead and get shuffled up. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have today for my Libras, please? For June 7th through the 13th, love messages, clarity, guidance, advice for my Libras, please, Holy Spirit. June 7th through the 13th, please, Holy Spirit. Ooh, that wanted to come out. All right, so we got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. All right, my loves. So if you are currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have yet to do so, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. I do choose multiple winners every week for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, Palo Santo, sage, jewelry, crystals. I give away NIV version uh, study Bibles, um, the large print. They're really amazing. I love those Bibles. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced, okay? So when you comment, please be sure to comment what it is that you're manifesting so that if I choose you, I know what to give you in the, um, in the giveaway, okay? Um, what else do I want to tell you? In the description box below, you'll find my new channel, Divine Spirit Healing 1111, my Timeless Collective readings, Instagram, um all that fun stuff okay so libra let's go ahead and get uh, into your pre-shuffle so it was interesting because when i started your pre-shuffle i got this immediate image of um okay it, it was like a forest and there was a deer and it wasn't like a deer in headlights thing right it was you know when there's like a hunter and there's a deer and he's walking and he's looking at the grass and everything. And then all of the, it was like that moment in Bambi. Like, have you guys, do you guys remember Bambi when, you know, um, like the mom and Bambi were in the field and like all of a sudden her head went up because her intuition kicked in that something wasn't right. She couldn't see what wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? But I got this kind of like you picking your head up and like, just kind of like, you know, cocking your head a little bit, like just looking, like, you know what I'm saying? And I got that as your energy. So it's interesting here because I feel that, you know, I'm not seeing like an ending. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not seeing that, like, I'm not necessarily seeing that something bad is going to happen, at least as far as what I felt in the pre-shuffle. But I did feel, it, it was very interesting because I felt like, how can I put this? I felt like, you know, spirit, your angels, your guides are giving you these downloads to just kind of lock it up for a minute. You see what I'm saying? Lock it up for a minute and to really like take a look at your relationship and ask yourself, are, are, are things even here? What is this person actually up to? Do they love me like I love them? Are they giving to me like I'm giving to them? Is this person, you know, have, do they have the same goals, visions? Like, you know, if, if you're looking for marriage and to have children, is this person, you know, do they see a future? Do they want that in their future? Is it the same? And I feel like it's just like, a to it's going to rock your world. Okay. Cause you may just be going along, like, you know, everything is fine. Right. And then all of a sudden you wake up one day and you just look at your person and you're just like, what are you up to? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just weird. You know, um, it's just like all of a sudden you get like this, this, this urge to like really analyze your connection. Right. So here we have the seven of cups. Okay. Now the seven of cups can indicate, you know, obviously options and all that good stuff. It can indicate illusions, but I'm not really feeling that I'm just feeling like you're, you're looking at this, like, is this real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, everything's going good, but is it real? Am I really woke to what's happening in this connection, right? You know, I'm over here thinking that everything is okay, but emotionally, are we on the same page? Financially, are we on the same page? When it comes down to our five-year future plan, are we on the same page? You understand? Or am I just seeing what I want to see, right? So that's kind of like the energy that I was picking up for you guys. So let's see what we have here. 
Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Libras, please? What energy do we have for my Libras? Chemistry. Okay, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Now, for me, guys, in this particular deck, there is a passion card, okay? So when I see chemistry, it doesn't really resonate with me with anything sexual or with anything, um, like, lustful or anything like that. To me, it's, you see how in this card, there's that, they're looking at that white light. It's a very spiritual connection, okay? It's a very spiritual connection. And I feel that you feel that connection with this person. It is a divinely guided connection. It's very well could be a soulmate connection. And I feel that because you feel that magnetic attraction to this person, because you feel that soul tie, you're kind of taking a step back and asking yourself, okay, I know I feel very strongly about this person, but am I letting my feelings override my intelligence? Am I, am I really looking at this the right way? Right. You know, so it, it actually, I feel like a lot of you are actually coming to this, you know, place of like, let me make sure that everything is good here because you feel so strongly about this connection. Right. Yeah. Fear. Like, out of nowhere, fear kind of starts to kick in, right? Fear kind of starts to kick in, like, is everything the way I think it is, right? Is everything going as well as I think it is? So I want to use this new Oracle deck. I just got these. Um, they're called the Fairy Godmother deck. I love this deck. It's so beautiful. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Libra's announcement? Okay, announcement. So announcement could be about... Um, Announcing an engagement, announcing that you are together, making it public, okay? And um, here we have under the deck, interesting, we have awakening, okay? So this is you kind of like waking up and asking yourself, okay, am I wearing rose-colored glasses? You know, um, you know, with announcement, there could be an issue here where maybe... Um, Maybe your person doesn't introduce you as girlfriend or boyfriend, or maybe, you know, publicly you guys, you know, haven't really introduced yourselves as boyfriend or girlfriend, or this could just be like, you know, maybe this person is proposing, or maybe you're worried about them proposing, or you're worried about, you know, like, is it ever going to happen? Is this person on the same page as me? Um, cause announcement for me, it's kind of like the three of cups type of energy, right? Now the three of cups type of energy also don't forget get is could be a one night stand it could be is this just a good time you know what i'm saying with announcements here i feel like it's kind of like you want to hear in words where is this actually going right do you understand what i'm saying you need to hear in words like what is actually happening in this connection right like out of nowhere you just wake up and you have this fear that everything isn't what it appears to be okay so we have here the three of swords three of swords and the seven of wands. You're trying to prevent heartache here, Libra. Mm -hmm. You are trying to prevent heartache here. You're trying to make sure that someone doesn't break your heart with the strength card and the empress. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. There you are. Empress energy. Okay. The strength card. This is your angels, your guides, taming you, pulling you back to think of things in an empress state of mind to take that deep breath. Okay. And I like her eyes here because you see how her eyes are so fixated. It reminds you of that deer, right? Like how someone picks up their head and how they look They're, You know, like just picture like a deer out you know, in an open meadow, right? And how they lift up their head and they look into the woods because they know something in there is a threat or could be a threat. They're not really sure. Their ears perk up, right? You see how her eyes are so like zoned in? Like it's like out of nowhere, like you're getting these downloads to pull back a minute and to stand tall and ask yourself like, you know, am I making the right decision here? Okay. Here we have the Eight of Cups and we have Temperance. Yes, yeah, you're pulling away a little bit. I don't actually get, you know, Libra, that you're walking away from anything. I don't, okay? Because the Eight of Cups, uh, technically, I know that in the card, a lot of the cards, you see somebody walking away. But realistically, the Eight of Cups technically is an indication of being emotionally disconnected, whether you're still in a relationship or you've left the relationship. Many people stay in relationships because they're comfortable, let's just say, and the emotions have gone. That would be an eight of cups type of situation, right? But what I'm actually getting here is that you're just kind of disconnecting a little bit of emotionally. Temperance here is you being patient. You're, you're not coming from a place of lust. You're not coming from a place of love. You're not coming like your, your feelings are starting to just kind of level out so that you can think clearly. Okay. Sagittarian energy there. 
and I feel that with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, uh, excuse me, I don't know where that came from. Okay, Leo, Sag, Aries energy here. I feel like, here's what's worrying me, okay? The Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands, is a truth going to come out that there's a third party here? Are you getting these downloads because there's something that you need to know? Or could this be that you're just seeking the truth so you could be more confident about this connection? Because the Queen of Wands is one of two things. It's either a third party, another woman or another man, or she stands for somebody who's very confident, very independent, very, you know, very stable, very sure of herself, okay? So are you looking for the truth to be more confident? Or or are you going to go digging and find out that there's someone else in the picture, right? Like, you know, something is telling you to just stop, take a, a step back and look at everything as, as a whole, right? So let's see here. So we have the King of Swords. How funny. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Isn't that weird? I, did, I just said that before the card came out. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy and the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy. Interesting. We have the world and the two of cups. So this king of swords here, okay? Now we could be dealing with another air sign, but I, I'm getting this energy of the person that you're with. Maybe they're not the mushy gushy type, okay? Um, maybe they're just very like, you know, intelligent. They're very strategic with the way they do things. They just, you know, they, they look at things from a more logical perspective. But I feel here that this king has made a decision here. And with the world card and the two of cups, I feel like this king, you know, sees you and only you. I'm not gonna lie so far here. Okay, I feel like this king has made their final decision with the world card. It's like you are their world, you're their end all be all. And you know, two of cups, they love you, they see the soulmate connection here. We have the seven of pentacles and the death card. Interesting, seven of pentacles and the death card. So, this is telling me that this person, okay, yeah, okay. So, what this is telling me, guys, all right, so I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. The fool. And the four of cups all right so what's happening here guys is that you're dealing with somebody libra who in the past they made a lot of mistakes okay you're dealing with somebody who in the past made a lot of mistakes but the fact of the matter is they've changed they really have scorpionic energy okay this person used to be non-committal they only cared about themselves they only did whatever they wanted to do right but with the four of cups here you know the four of cups they, they just didn't appreciate your love so I, I feel like this person just had a very bad attitude but it's in the past and they've changed and that's why we have that world card here this person has shut out that negative behavior and they've moved forward okay but it's like Everything is going really, really well, and you're just taking a step back. Like, it's kind of like this energy of, like, you know what? Everything is going too good. Something's wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything's going too good. Something's wrong. Is this an illusion? Is this really happening? So I feel here this Three of Cups is about reconciliation. So I feel here that who this is resonating for is so it's a couple okay that you know but you got to remember libra if you're you, people stay together 5 10 15 20 years you know things aren't always perfect there's ups and downs and people grow okay and this is a perfect example of that okay this is you meeting somebody that was in maybe like player mode, single mode, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, they just were doing their own thing. They weren't ready to settle down, okay? And you stood by this person as an empress for a long time. And now they've really changed and you're kind of like, is this really happening, right? You know what I'm saying? Is this, you've overcome a lot of heartache with this person, okay? And it's made you very strong. It's brought you to empress status, okay? But I feel like you're gonna start digging because maybe you might be scared that there's someone else, even though there's no real reason. I'm not sure, I'm not really seeing that there's a reason. So, you know, as of yet, we're gonna clarify, okay? But I do feel that, you know, either you're gonna go looking to see if there's another person or if you're looking for safety and security here. You know, and sometimes we go through that. Sometimes we just need a little bit of 
you know, we just need to hear someone say, no, baby, I love you and I want only you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we just need to hear that, you know, as, as women and even as men don't, you know, men need that too sometimes to just to know that, you know, I love you and you're the only one I'll ever want. Right. So there may be a sense here of fear where like, you just need to hear it with that announcement card, right? You just need to hear that. No, I still want you and love only you. Okay. Spirit, tell me about this three of swords, please. The Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. So we have the Emperor to the Empress here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So this Emperor has really really broken your heart in the past okay with the seven of wands here and the ace of swords i feel that you have overcome a lot okay you have overcome a lot here okay and i feel that you want to make sure that everything is going good you want to make sure that you see everything clarity clarity listen to me because <laughs> the ace of swords talks about clarity right so with that seven of wands you're just kind of wanting to push everything kind of away for a second and look at this with open eyes you know is this person who once broke my heart really turned into an emperor am i missing anything right tell me about this strength card We've got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. This is you getting those downloads that I was talking about, okay? We have the Six of Cups here. Um, this could be a past life uh, soulmate connection, could be. But I feel like, I don't know, you're getting downloads and it's telling you to kind of like, don't forget the past type of thing. Like, you know, like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I Something is just telling you to put back and just to pull back and not to forget the past, okay? Yeah, so I feel here that you have forgiven this with temperance. I feel like you have forgiven the past, Sagittarian energy, but still there's this energy of tempering your emotions and patiently just looking at the whole relationship like, you know, am I really safe, right? With the temperance card and the ace of wands, I feel like what you're tempering is communication, passion, lust, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just kind of like removing all those external things and you're wanting to look at everything with very clear vision, okay? Tell me about the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you see, you're, you're, when, when you, you're removing all of this because you have it stuck in your head, there's like this niggling thing that something just isn't right. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. I feel like some of you are having fear that there's a third party. Tell me about the Temperance card here. We've got the two of wands and we have the wheel of fortune. Yeah, I, I again, I feel that, you know, you're tempering your emotions because you're want with that two of wands, you're wanting to see that vision clearly. And with the wheel of fortune, this is like for me, it's like the universe spirit is kind of like you know, telling you to do this because this wheel is taking you somewhere. I don't know where, but it's working in your favor. With the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy, I don't know, that's not looking good. Two of Swords, yeah, I feel like you, you're feeling like there's a secret here. You're feeling like there's someone else in the picture, but you're not seeing it. Or you're seeing that your person maybe has two people. You, you're, you feel your intuition here is telling you that there might be someone else in the picture. And you, you're just like, you're being blocked. Like maybe, you know, their phone is locked or their computer is locked. Like you're being blocked from finding out the truth. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. We've got the Five of Swords. And the four of wands yeah see the the thing here is yeah you see this is the problem libra you're like i need to know i need to know what's happening here with that ace of swords i need to know the truth because i need to know if i should stay and be stable if this is stable or if i should go right and look at what's under the deck i need to know if this is going to lead to marriage or ten of cups or if i should withdraw from this and pull away Okay, so I, I, there's a very strong sense of like, I feel like something might be wrong. Now, guys, this is a perfect example, though, of you have to be careful because there is fear here. Okay, and it's very, very easy to confuse fear with, you know, your intuition. Okay, because the it's so strong, right? It's so it's so strong. Okay, and 
just like that deer, like their head pops up because their intuition is telling them something's not right. It comes from a place of fear for self-preservation, right? But they don't really know what it is. More times than not, there's nothing out there, but it's just like, you know, they're just on guard and jumpy sometimes, right? So I feel that that's where you're at. Like, so I'm still not really sure though, if this is fear or if there actually is somebody else. Okay. So let's see here. Spirit, tell me about the King of Swords, please. Tell me about this King of Swords. We have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. That's a very honest card. Okay. And the Four of Swords. I feel like this King, when he says that he's just like, you know, he wants to chill on the couch and, you know, watch Netflix and not care about anything. I feel like he's being pretty honest. Tell me about the judgment card here. Yeah, he's made a final and successful decision here. Um, and he's been sticking to it. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. He's just like, you know, I, I hate to say it this way, but like, I'm getting this energy of someone just sitting home getting fat and happy. Like I'm seeing someone on the couch scratching a beer belly or just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know, vice versa for girls or whatever, you know, if it's a female, someone just on their couch, sweatpants, you know, hair in a bun, no makeup on. Like someone here is just comfortable and happy is what I'm feeling here. Okay. Just comfortable and happy so far. Tell me about the world card, the nine of swords. And the two of cups. Yeah, somebody here. Okay. So, you know, you have to understand the world card. The world card is shutting a cycle and starting something new. And guys, I feel like this person, um, the cycle that they shut was this cycle of anxiety, strife, you know what I'm saying? Regretting things that they're doing. And they've decided to commit, you know? So, so far, what I'm seeing here is that this person has truly changed. They put the past to rest. They're committing. Tell me about the. We have the two of cups here twice. It's a very strong soulmate energy, soulmate, soulmate. And then we've got Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Queen of Swords, the Libra energy. There you are. And Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person sees you as their Ten of Cups, their soulmate. They're envisioning a future with you. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. The Devil. Capricorn energy. Mind you guys, that Seven of Pentacles talks about mistakes from the past. So this person may have been very toxic in the past. I'm not really seeing it in the current moment, Libra. So some of you may possibly a little be a little bit in your head and being consumed with fear. Tell me about this death card. Three of swords. Yeah, this person has changed. I'm not really seeing. Yeah, the t it may be shocking. It may be shut, like you may not really believe it, but I feel like with that three of swords, this person has changed. They're not really out to break your heart, okay? I feel like this person used to present themselves as a fool, um, but they've moved on with the chariot card. I feel real growth here, okay? I feel real growth here, and I feel like the problem here is, is that it's such a sudden change that it's like confusing that this person has just changed and moved to more peaceful waters you know what i'm saying but i do feel what happened was is that this person got you know tired and fed up of the lifestyle that they were living and they were they were having real fear that you were going to leave them okay they had fear that you were going to leave them so this person got their dish together you know tell me about this fool card yeah, uh, Hermit Energy, Virgo, this person is withdrawing from that type of behavior. With the Four of Cups here, where once they were unappreciative of your love, they were unappreciative of what you're offering, now they're accepting that full cup of love and they're giving that full cup of love. Seven of Cups here, but you feel that it's an illusion. The Star card. It's This is literally an energy of... Guys, Aquarian energy, I think it's an illusion because it's everything that I wanted and it's too good to be true. Libra. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're like, I, I, I'm not trusting this. I'm not trusting this because this just isn't normal. Like, I'm actually, I hate to say this, but like, I'm getting kind of like visions of somebody just on their couch, like just watching a movie and the other person staring at their face, just like with eyes squinted, like, I know you're doing something. You know, and this person is just like, you know, got pizza sauce on their shirt. Just I'm getting this this energy of someone is just totally comfortable in a relationship. They see themselves happily ever after two of cups, ten of pentacles like this person has settled down. Right. But Libra, you're they, they see you there as their two of cups. They see you. I mean, look at you. You're right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
look at this two of cups there you are you know what i'm saying but you're not trusting it you're not trusting it you're you're kind of like in this energy of this is a little too good to be true what is going on the challenge here the ten of wands and the nine of swords the challenge is you're like the nine of swords is fear this is you being up at night having bad dreams um just being really upset you know what i'm saying just overthinking like you're you're developing i'm actually getting that some of you are developing scenarios you know oh my gosh so they went out to buy milk and you know the store is three and a half minutes away and let's just say four minutes to buy the milk and then another three and a half minutes that's so many minutes but they came back seven minutes late what were they doing in that seven <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like this is you like overthinking like every little thing and with the ten of wands you're you're wearing yourself down you're wearing yourself down page of pentacles and the four of wands this person is offering you commitment here they're offering you stability capricorn taurus virgo energy four of wands twin flame soulmate connection guys this person we have the, the the ten of cups the two of cups here twice i am not saying that you don't have a reason for kind of like you know worrying once in a while but i feel like you know it, it's i know this person was really messed up in the past i get it right i get it but you know, we've got the four of wands here twice. I, I, you know, I don't see them doing anything wrong, Libra. I don't see them doing anything wrong. Yeah, see, like, you're thinking that this person is committed, a, query, a, a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. we got the king of coins here. You're thinking it's an illusion. Yeah, you, you think that they're, maybe they're going towards a new lover because we've got the ace of wands there. That's a new lover. That's very phallic, right? So you're thinking here that maybe with the chariot Cancerian energy, they're going towards a new lover. And you have it stuck in your head. You're, you're, you're overthinking and really killing yourself here. And I feel like with the Nine of Cups and the Page of Swords, you're doing, you're going through like social media with that Nine of Cups. It's like, it's like an itch that you can't scratch. Like you want to find something. You want to find something to prove that you're right here because you think this is an illusion. But this person is coming off as committed. Now, I'm not saying that they're an angel. I'm not saying that they're an angel, Libra. I know that this person has done some shit in the past. I see that, right? But it's in the past. And this person has changed for you because they were fearing that you would leave them. Okay? So, I mean, this wheel has turned. It has turned in your favor. Whatever you wanted, you're getting your wish fulfillment. But now that you have it, you're not trusting it. You're not trusting it. Okay? So, guys, it is something to keep in mind. Okay? It is something to keep in mind. Faith over fear. Okay? John... Uh, 1 John 4, 18, you know, fear ends where faith begins, okay, that, that's the, the concept there, so, let, you know, you got to think of that, okay, don't, don't ruin the present moment if nothing wrong is happening, you got divine feminine, divine masculine, the four of wands, you probably went through a twin flame journey with this person, and now things are settling down, you probably learned your lessons, and, and, you know, the universe is satisfied, and now everything is beautiful, and, you know, you don't want to bring toxicity into your blessing, Okay. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Be safe.